Beer time. Saturday morning, finished grocery shopping. I want a beer. What better beer to do it with than a breakfast IPA? Eh, eh, eh. It's from uh, Southern Prohibition Brewing. Devil's Harvest. Now, the can art on this is what initially got me to be a uh, habitual buyer because it's one of the coolest cans I've seen in a while. I'm going to show it right here. Uh, it's really, really good. It's only 4.9 alcohol. It's good for breakfast. It doesn't break the fry threshold. It's not really a beer at that point, is it? Right? Right? Eh. Let's go. Now, this one's special. They put uh, some oats in it. They keep it real hazy. And give it that juicy consistency. As you will see here shortly. Look at that. Mmm. Super hazy, super juicy. Smells great. A lot of citrus. I know it's a citra and mosaic hops. Just straight up solid. Can't go wrong with those. Boy, is it good. There's so much citrus flavor in this. Easy to go down. The IBUs are 40. So it's enough where we can call it an IPA, right? But it's not too much. It's just, it's like having. I don't want to say it's like a juice beer because it's not like a Rattler or something extreme like that. But it's not like just down in an IPA either. Uh, they've done so many amazing things to really cut this and smooth it out and give it this pseudo breakfasty vibe, right? And I've shared this with a, a very good friend of mine that's not an IPA guy and he loved it. Like he can't stand IPAs. He likes the fruity beers. I like both. But I gave him one of these, and this changed his mind on IPAs, where there was hope for him to start to appreciate them. And uh, I think this that you could do the same with a lot of people with this specific beer. Southern Prohibition Brewing is out of Mississippi. I unfortunately have not had any of their other beers. Also, if I saw them, I don't know if I'd get them, because I like this one so much, it's hard to, to choose something else. Um, I, I think this is the fourth time. I bought a six pack of that six pack of this and uh, for me that's very rare I don't like buying the same beer more than once usually maybe twice there's so many out there so many new things to try why why stick with the same one but this one is that excellent where when my local grocery store has it I gotta grab another six pack of it 4.9 percent lowish IBUs but enough to where we can call it an IPA extremely citrusy um, it's a little bit thicker than your standard IPA is I guess and it's not as crisp. It's really mellowed out. Like it doesn't. Um, th there's a bit of malt that comes through, but it doesn't have that IPA bite. Like there's plenty of the hop flavor, but it's like the hops minus a little bit of that bitter edge. And that's why this is just so good and it's so easy to pick one up right when you wake up in the morning if you're not doing anything all day and you're just hanging out of the house. It goes perfect. It's it's great. It's almost like a meal. Just, I mean, it's got oats in it, right? It's got you got hops in it. You got malt in it. And it's some juicy flavors to it. It's just it couldn't really be better. I know we do a lot of IPAs on this channel, but really, it's me trying to find IPAs I like more than this one. Um, this is a ten out of ten beer. If you are lucky enough to find Devil's Harvest, grab it. I don't know where it's available. To be honest with you, obviously the southeast has it as a whole because I'm you know steered to over from Mississippi so if it's made it this far I'm sure it's made it the opposite directions as well uh, you, it's just incredible and like I said the can art is what initially made me have to buy it and this is probably eight months ago a year ago I got the first six pack I bought of it it's one of the coolest cans I've seen yet I mean it's edgy whatever but that bright vibrant green everything is this like green hue crossed it little hops on it and then that badass, you know, like, Ram Skull Ace Ventura guy on it with a chainsaw. Like, pff, that's cool. That's the beer I want. For everything that they've punched into this beer, it's one of the smoothest beers you'll ever have. It, like, smooth. It should just be the Devil's Harvest, like, smoothest beer on Earth. You, you get a little bit of that malt flavor through at the end. There's plenty of hops in it to make any hop head happy. Super hazy. You know, my little finger check, I, I like... Not being able to see them through my beard pulls that off as well. Um, it's 
the carbonation's just right. You know, at breakfast you don't want, I know, like, breakfast IPAs aren't literally meant for breakfast, but that's how I justify drinking one for breakfast. But, so the carbonation isn't uh, overbearing, like, you don't want a pop right when you wake up in the morning. It's usually a coffee or a juice or water, whatever. Um, so the carbonation's light enough to where it keeps it smooth. It keeps it mellowed out. And you would want one right when you wake up. Because they're that good, you can drink them at any point in the day. Now I can't, I'm not sure how many quote unquote breakfast IPAs I've had. I think it's been a couple. This is without a doubt the best one. And this is within the top, you know, 1% of IPAs I've had ever, to be honest. It's also probably in that top couple percent of beers I've ever had. Um, this isn't one of my absolute favorites. I was real lucky to see it in the store again. Had to pick it up because I want to talk to you guys about it and maybe turn you on to it as well. You can't go wrong with this beer. It's good for any occasion, any day, any time. It's just good. Like it, it's it's great. Uh, there's not a single thing I don't like about it. It's the whole package. This this is a god tier beer. The first time I had it, I fell in love, and I feel like every time I buy it, I like it even more. It's like even that more comforting. Uh, that made the right decision when I bought because it's always good every time and it just grows on you even further somehow that was quick Devil's Harvest Southern Prohibition Brewing we got 4.9% hardly a beer right mm -hmm. might as well be a mimosa or something uh, I've used a 40 solid very solid real hazy real juicy it's got the oats in there that give it that unfiltered appearance it's dry hopped I think at some point it mellows everything out everything blends together perfectly it's not overly carbonated it couldn't be better it's got a great color great smell super citrusy really citrusy that's why it's so freaking good uh, go grab it please let me know if you do and how much you like it because I would love to hopefully share your next favorite beer with you catch you next time